Welcome to this edition of BRCC Today. I'm your host, Tammy Brown. So glad to have you here with us. As you guys know, BRCC recently merged with the uh, Technical College. So BRCC now offers transfer degrees, associate degrees, certification, skills training, short-term training. We offer it all to you at many locations. We have locations in Baton Rouge, Baker, New Roads, Plaquemine, Jackson, Port Allen. We're everywhere now. We've got lots of things for you, the community. So you got to check out the website during the show and go look at all the programs we have and all the opportunity that's available to you at BRCC. My first guest today is this lovely lady, Miss Georgia Scobie, and she is the executive director of Nice. External, reforce, uh, external, external resources, external resources, correct? Director. director, I'm sorry, director of uh, yeah, external, external resources, resources, Georgia. A pleasure to have you on Thank the show. You, I'm sorry Tammy. for that mistake. That's all right. Miss Georgia, talk to us about what you do, external resources. Uh, external resources for the college mm -hmm. um, uh, involves many, many things, mainly going out and fundraising and bringing in private donor money for scholarships and fundraising events and things such as that. And our first, our second big fundraiser for this year is our golf tournament, which is going to be held April 11th at Great. the island in Plaquemine. And we now have a campus, which we call Westside in Plaquemine. Mm -hmm. So um, we thought it was only appropriate to hold our tournament over there and gather around all those folks from that area so they can come join us and play with us. That sounds like a lot of fun. So people who, if they want to, you know, get on a team and actually uh, play on that day, what do they have to do? They need to call me. Mm -hmm. I have um, a phone number in my email, which I think we're either going to post or I can give to you right now. Okay. And we have about four spots left. So we're filling up and it's um, lots of fun. It's $100 for an individual, 400 for a team, or we have some sponsorships available, which gives you a few more perks at the, at the actual tournament. Um, it includes your lunch, all your adult beverages and other beverages and your lunch and everything, your golf, your cart. All, all the fun. Need. All the fun. Now, we uh, had a great time last year. Great time. And again, it's on April 11th. April 11th. Okay. Uh, start 8.30, shotgun start at the island. We'd like you to be there by 7.30, 7.45. We'll get you on your cart and we'll shoot the gun and everybody will start at 8.30. And we hope to wrap up. Um, no later than 2, 2.15, because we know for some Baton Rouge people, the traffic going over the bridge oh, can yeah. create a problem. They're shooting a gun, a real gun? Yeah, it's a, you know, <laughs> cat gun, so to speak, but that's what you do. Our chancellor will kick it nice, off. Nice, nice. Now, um, the, the funds from this, uh, where, where do the proceeds go? The majority of the proceeds go to benefit a general scholarship fund for our students at all of the campuses of BRCC. That's one of the chancellor's goals is to, to raise a general scholarship. We have many scholarships that are restricted funds. But this would be general for a student that um, may have a four point and have trouble getting their tire fixed or couldn't get to class or um, something even as profound as they have lost their sitter for mm -hmm. their children or any way we can help them and there would be an opportunity for them to go to the committee and say I need some help with X, Y, and Z. So we're trying to grow that fund up to $100,000. And that's an interesting uh, point how students, although they may have financial aid or they may have their parental assistance or TOPS, there's still other fees and their emergencies arise Absolutely. because most of the time they can't work because they're full-time students. Um, so it's a good opportunity for the public watching um, if you're an individual or corporation, if you want to give to the scholarship fund, um, BRCC Scholarship Foundation, the scholarship fund, it's a um, write-off, right? Is that correct? Absolutely. It's tax deductible and um, all of that would go through the foundation and calling my number will get you there and then we can walk you through the process of how you'd like to do that because we have we have numerous opportunities for donors. Many donors have an area that they're very interested in um, when they were in school or they've majored in that or their career path has taken them down that road so they want to give back sure. to a student so that they can succeed in that area. So you know it, in any way you want to do it it's the donors call we can make things happen for that donor so that they're appreciated and stewarded and cared for and we keep them up to date with what's going on with our their recipients. And what is your phone number for those watching want to give to the BRCC scholarship? 225-216-8608. So they can call in right now, not right now, well maybe right. so, maybe right now. They well, call, I'll check leave messages. a message. You can leave a message. Yeah, yeah if you want to give a you know, $300,000 uh, donation. Yes. <laughs> 
if Absolutely. you're a corporation, or if you have some money you want to, you know, give away, we're the place to do is a write-off, BRCC Foundation. We, and we can set up endowments and that sort of thing. So nice. there's all there's all sorts of opportunities, which people in fundraising and edge higher ed and all of that know what those are. So too many numerous ones to mention here probably, but we certainly can sit down and have the conversation with Sure, them. so just a lay person who may have, maybe there's people out there who have never given to a scholarship fund and didn't know that it, that it was available, because a lot so. of people don't know that. And no. You can give and you're investing in the lives of students and to help them go on and be successful and continue on with uh, economic development in this city. Well, and you know, BRCC is, is, is young. We're 15 years old, BRCC. Now we've merged with our other campuses but um, you know, this area of the of Baton Rouge has needed a community college for quite a long time, sure. and and I was talking to some students the other day that just the cost of books have gone up. Mm -hmm. I mean, I haven't been in school in a long time, so um, I didn't have any idea. I didn't realize, you know, because you get busy with other things. So there's lots of opportunities for folks out there to help these students and help them get on their career path and be successful and. Um, we want to do all that we can for and, those. And also I noticed, you know, the scholarships are not just for those that are getting associate degrees or transfer no. degrees. We have welding students that receive See, it. I, we have welding students. We have construction technology students. We have pipe fitting students. We have companies that have invested in our certificate programs, so they're f helping fund with that. So these people, um, these students may be very well working, but they need to continue their education or they need a degree or a certificate in, in a particular area so that their salary increases on their job side. So we, we provide those opportunities for those students to so come in in the evening, during the day, that sort of thing, whatever their schedule permits. We allow. So again, those watching, um, if you want to give to be a donor to the uh, BRCC Foundation, the scholarship fund, and the scholarship fund students that are enrolled in our you know, technical programs, our associate degree, transfer degree programs, or incoming students, you can, they can set the parameters. Is that correct, Georgia? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, we want people to encourage them to give to the BRCC Foundation. It is a write-off. Absolutely. And a great investment. Certainly. And what, what they, what's that saying? You reap what you sow, right? Mm, yes. The more you invest in people, it comes back to you. And we carry a slogan around the campus that says, imagine what you can do. So we want everybody to set their goals high and dream and, and know that anything's possible for them. And we didn't have those opportunities growing up. So um, I think this is a great, Absolutely. great cho choice for people to make. And of course, the campus is growing with many, many students, especially with the technical side of things. It's so great for our state, the community and technical college system itself. Absolutely. Now, the foundation also, in addition to the scholarship side, they can give to the scholarships. They can also give, like, to buildings. I mean, they can, if someone wants to uh, donate toward a building and uh, or rooms or uh, name equipment. Room supplies? Well, the foundation was set up originally in 1998 when the college began of community, it consisted of community leaders and some faculty staff from the college. And they joined forces to have a 501c3 nonprofit so that they could help support the college and its mission with any and everything that state dollars do not provide gotcha. for. So there are opportunities that are endless for people to be involved with our foundation. We do, the foundation, I say we, the foundation does everything it can to support the college's mission, whatever that may be. Mm -hmm. The chancellor's wishes, um, faculty, staff, that sort of thing. So there are um, endless opportunities for them. There's building naming there. There are building opportunities. There's ways to be invested in um, our growth with our workforce and that sort of thing. So there's a lot on the horizon, too, that will be coming out in the months to come about some future plans for building and, ex and Baton Rouge, you know, community college growing sure. beyond where it is right now. And I'm sure a lot of people are, not a lot of people, but some people watching may say, well, why do they need money? They charge tuition. But the tuition is a nominal fee. It's uh, only Serious. 18, roughly 1800 a semester for all of our programs. And, uh, you know, to be state of the art, top notch, I mean, you need, a, we need additional funds to really continue to grow and to keep up with the technology and the you know, and the, the industry demands. Absolutely. So this you want money, to bring yeah. in, you know, you want to bring in the best to teach these courses. You want to bring in the best and the finest and the most knowledgeable to help out and make these students succeed and help them on their career path. Um, you want to have state-of-the-art equipment in there in the classrooms. You want to have the finest textbooks you can offer and all the internships, everything and everything that you can give somebody the opportunity to grow 
and, and graduate with the associate's degree. We also have programs that bridge into our university mm -hmm. system. So um, we, we work in with LSU, we move over, over to the southern side. We do a lot of things. So a lot of students that leave at the two-year mark or graduate at that two-year move into the university level and continue their four-year degree. Right, and, and, like, and it's not like we're competitors, it's partnership. It's all about Absolutely. that student. It's all about that individual and their career goals and educational goals. Well, that, that's been the real exciting part of it, to see chancellors of all the universities in higher ed working together to make it profitable for the students and to make them have the easiest and best path they can have to be successful. Great. All for the good of the students. Absolutely. And this is, again, Georgia Scobie. Uh, she's uh, the Director of External Resources at BRCC. Look, those of you watching, if you want to give to a scholarship fund, a building fund, call the number on the screen and uh, give Georgia your information and we'll take it from there. So again, Georgia, thank you so thank much you. for all that I you do. Thank you. I appreciate it. And we'll ho hope it. to have you back on the show again Love soon. Love to come. Thank Anytime. you so much. Thank you. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show, Tammy Brown here. Um, I'm excited to bring to you our next guest, and her name is Miss Heather Price. And Miss Heather, thank you for being on the show. Good to be here. Now, Miss Price, you are with the Mary Bird uh, Perkins Cancer Center, Our Lady of the Lake. Yes. And you're going to talk about uh, an event that's coming up. Yes. And talk to us about that. We have an event coming up. It's our um, seventh annual Fest for Life, and we host it during Minority Cancer Awareness Week. Mm -hmm. And it'll be Saturday, April the 12th from 10 to 2 p.m. at the Boncare Business Center on Florida Boulevard. And, and so what will you guys be doing there? At this event we'll be hosting um, cancer screenings for mm -hmm. the five cancer types that we screen for which is breast, colorectal, oral, prostate, and skin cancer. It's a family and fun field event. We'll have other uh, screenings as well okay. so you can come out bring the family bring the children and just have some free health screenings some good information just to, for health maintenance and to stay on track. Is there a charge for people coming out? This event is totally free to the great, community. Great. So please come out. Like I said, bring your family. If you have any concerns, you can feel free to give us a call. Sure. You can call us at 225-215-1234 if you have any questions about any of the screenings that we'll offer on Saturday, April 12th from 10 to 2 at Boncare Business Center. Now, do they have to call you guys first when they come out for this? Do they have to call it and register or can they just show up on that day? Um, for a majority of our screenings, you can just show up on that day. We only require appointments for the breast screening, but you can also, like I said, give us a call or you can visit the website at mbpolol.org for more information. And again, give us a call if you have any questions at 225-215-1234. And, and here's the thing about cancer, and I, you know, and members of my family have had it. And the thing is that I think that people hearing about it, if they don't know they have it or they have, you know, they're thinking that, that I guess they don't realize the, the very, the value, extraordinary value of pre-screening. Yes. Because if it's detected early, people don't realize that in the community. Yes. For cancer, early detection is your best bet for um, having more treatment options. It, early detection can save your life. So at the Cancer Center, we, are, we focus on prevention. We focus, focus on early detection and education. So catching cancer early can save your life. And so they don't have to have any symptoms. So maybe some people may be thinking, well, I don't feel I have any symptoms, so I don't need to go pre-screen. It's better if they have no symptoms at all, right? Just take advantage of the pre-screening. Yeah, we promote health maintenance. Even if you don't have any symptoms or you're not feeling sick, just the promotion of health maintenance to make sure you're on track and you're seeing your doctor regularly, have a relationship with your provider or your physician. Um, most cancers, they don't have symptoms early on, so you can't really go by that. So it's good at the proper age to have those preventive screenings. I'm so glad that you said that. For people out there, take advantage of these pre-screenings at, the, at this event. It's free. Again, don't when it comes to cancer, don't wait till you have a symptom that's usually makes it more difficult to you know tackle. Just go, you know, if you have, and if you can't make it to this event on April 12th, do you guys offer free training, I mean, free training, free screening throughout the year, or is it? Yes, we do offer free screenings throughout the year. Um, we have awareness months. April is Head and Neck Awareness Month, and generally during the awareness month, we'll offer more of that, that type of screening. 
say for instance, April will offer more um, oral cancer screenings to mm -hmm. promote um, head and neck cancer awareness month, but we offer screenings throughout the entire year and we use our mobile medical clinic, the oh, early great. bird, to provide these screenings to the community. What we do, we go out on our mobile medical clinic to make it more convenient for those who have um, problems with access to care or they can't make it to the hospital due to transportation. So we have our mobile medical clinic nice. that we go. How the do they take advantage of that? Do they call you guys? Or? They can call us to set up an appointment again at 225-215-1234 or visit us online at mbpollol.org. Um, we have a calendar of events and they can see which screenings that we're offering the location and times. Great. I'm so glad that you came on the show to talk about this. And um, thank you so much. You did a great job, you You're beautiful welcome. young lady. Thank and you. And those of you out there, look, take advantage of this. I mean, I've had it in my family, and probably many of you have had cancer in your family. It's not a nice thing. And if you can tackle it before it, you have symptoms, much better for you and your family. So take advantage of the um, Mary Berry Perkins Center, Our Lady of the Lake. Did I say it right? Mary <laughs> Berry Perkins. <laughs> say it. Say it correctly for me. Mary Bird Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center. Great. Thank you, love. Thank you so much. We'll have you, you back on the show, okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, you guys stay tuned. Wait for our next guest. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. Uh, my next guest is uh, Mr. Gerard Melanson, and he is the Executive Director for Continuing Education at BRCC, and he's going to tell you what that means. Mr. Gerard Melanson, so glad to have you. It's Brown, thank you. My, I'm glad to have you. Now talk to us about Continuing Education. What does that mean, Continuing Education at BRCC? Okay, well, Continuing Ed means a lot of different things in the community, but for us, for our BRCC, uh, under the Economic Development and Workforce Solutions Unit, um, we focus in on continuing ed for those participants or, or those students who are, one, um, time poor. Mm -hmm. They've, they, they may have gone to college for a four-year degree right. in general studies, or they may have uh, got laid off, or they may have, uh, you know, maybe have even started school, but they have children, they have time commitments. So they're time poor because they may have started down a path that didn't work out, and they're trying to re- start their career and their life and achieve that American dream. So I like to call them, but they rich with motivation for that American dream. Gotcha. So those are, th those are the day in day out students that we work with. Mm -hmm. uh, so we offer our classes that's, that's convenient for them. Uh, so we have a lot of classes that are on a night, um, you know, Monday through Friday, uh, typically two nights a week or sometimes three nights a week and classes on the weekends to make it Great. convenient for them because a lot of them are working or they're raising their families and they're really trying to achieve that American dream once again. Um, we, we really focus in on to make it possible to, for them to, to achieve that middle class dream here in the Baton Rouge region. We work closely with their employers in our, in our training programs. Um, they provide us instructors, they give oversight in our curriculum development, and they kind of give us um, the path of where we need to go with our training. All mm -hmm. of our stuff is industry-based certification. Um, NCCR, particularly on the craft levels, um, and we also do allied health. So uh, the portfolio. Let me just talk about the training. Absolutely. So, uh, we when we talk about continuing ed for BRCC, we have three areas in our training portfolio. Mm -hmm. The first area is craft, industrial craft, and craft training, where we do all levels of, of training from your very basic training, so you get out and be a helper, to your very advanced level where you're more a journeyman. You've been on. You've been working for a while, but you want to skill up and you want to get more advanced training to do different processes or um, move up into supervision. Um, then we also work on uh, allied healthcare. Mm -hmm. So we, where we deal with, uh, we have some neat projects where we do CNA. So somebody who may not even have their um, high, uh, secondary equivalency, mm -hmm. but they want to get into healthcare. So we have a pathway um, program that started with um, the Louisiana Community Tech College System and the Gates Foundation and Jobs for the Future, where mm -hmm. we're working with that student, um, getting their secondary equivalency, GED, they used to call it, now it's a high set test. Right, right. Um, while at the same time, they build their CNA. That's great. But we also partner with the main campus because just being a CNA is not, uh, uh, I won't say it's a career, but it's the start of a career pathway. Mm -hmm. so, though, so they're able to transfer their credits to our patient care technician program 
they get 11 hours towards there. Mm -hmm. And if they pass the um, HESI and the comp have the right Compass Core, they also get enrolled and get credits for time to earn in the CNA towards the LPN. Great. So we are built, we're building also pathways to the career, but also if they want to go work their way up in their career ladder um, in healthcare. Uh, we do um, um, you know, phlebotomy, pharmacy tech programs in allied healthcare. Great. And then the other part of the portfolio, the portfolio we call it our third level, is where we deal with this license, licensing and certification training. Mm -hmm. So a lot of those classes are offered on the weekends. And uh, so that, that's basically broadly what we do at Continuing Ed at BRCC. So, and, and these classes that you mentioned, uh, they're short term, right? So some of these certifications may take uh, 12 weeks, two weeks? Right. Yeah, it just depends. Mm -hmm. So, like our, it, it just depends on the level of type of training you want to go through. Uh, you know, typically the, the training that we offer is compressed. Mm -hmm. So, and that's how we kind of differentiate from uh, what we call the main campus, mm -hmm. where if you go through Associates Applied Science or Associate Applied Arts, you may have to do your core math, um, your Englishes, and so forth. And our program is directly hands on training, right. theory support in the classroom, but really is hands on training in the classroom. Now, however, it's very important that what we, when we hire our instructors, they make sure that these soft skills are reinforced. Come to class on time, mm -hmm. working, with, working as a team, um, working on your report writing um, and communications. So fundamental things that you do get from, I'd say a liberal arts training, we, we, we reinforce it. Now we don't have enough time to go into all the uh, supports of that. Right. But we do, where we see a uh, deficiency in a student where the report writing is quite not there or their applied math concepts are not there, we leverage our resources at, at, our, at the main campus with the tutoring and, and so gotcha. forth to, to support them. Because the thing is we don't want to create a bunch of what we call frontline helpers. You really want to help them with their career and we want to make sure they, they at least get the core knowledge and the core skill sets so they can move up to the career further, ladder. Absolutely. So that's, that's, that's one thing is, is important. But in the, the majority of it is compressed. Mm -hmm. And we just try to focus in on what they need, what the employers tell us that they need to get their foot, foot, their, their foot in the door right. and grow. And so they won't be taking, like they won't come into the pipe fitting class or the CNA class, which is saying uh, is like they probably wouldn't be taking an English class too or a math class as well. No. It's, it's the hands on and they're going to get that certification or whatever credential it right. is in that short time. But then you're saying they can go on the job entry level with that first one and then come back and do more. It, correct. Exactly. Exactly. Now, Financial aid on this side of the house, is it covered by like Voc Rehab maybe or the WIB or is it finance? I know Pell Grant not. Is that right. correct? That is correct. The, um, yes, we have a close partnership. Our programs are approved by the local workforce investment mm -hmm. boards here uh, in Baton Rouge and the surrounding parishes. Um, and they can get assistance if they meet their uh, uh, qualifications great. for that funding yeah. stream. And Voc Rehab is another great funder uh, for, for uh if you meet the criteria to get a scholarship from Blue Book Rehab, those funds do apply towards our training. Uh, we also uh, uh, accept uh, post 9-11 GI benefits, so there are oh, veterans yeah, that's are, right, yeah. are training in programs to qualify. Yeah, we've had some of those. your students on here talking about that, the yes. veteran students. Yes, so um, it, it's, uh, but the only thing that does not qualify is the, the, Pell, the, the Pell funding. But however, once, I, and I, uh, with, I talked about part partnerships before. Sure. Um, the community technical college system uh, offers competitive money uh, every year. And uh, we've been very fortunate to um, receive some of those competitive funds uh, called rapid response funds. Mm -hmm. And what we have done, we kind of braided the funding mm -hmm. from what we offer from BRCC um, and what we're, we've done with rapid response money is reduce the cost of our course. So we may oh, have that's a- that's why it's so low. I looked yes, at that, yeah. Our courses are very low. So we may have a welding course that typically uh, would cost, without this braided funding, at 550, it really would cost us about 1500 mm -hmm. to offer that course. Where we have electrical for $150. Which is a nominal fee. Yes. Yeah, so so the student could pay 150 and come into your electrical program and, well, the electrical certification course. Yes, NCCR Electrical 1, yes. And uh, they, they will, uh, get a top-notch instructor, um, uh, uh, very dynamic curriculum and hands-on with very, um, you know, a lot of equipment and tools to train on and um, for $150. That's unbelievable. And so yeah. that's the only way, and we try to provide access. So we know we can't um, provide Pell Grant money, but 
you know, we really try to, for those, you know, want to talk with a single mother or a single father or somebody who's laid off, don't have a thousand dollars laying around to go into training sure. to change your career path. Uh, you know, we bring it down to $150 to make it possible some way, you know, either go get a That's small awesome. you know, a loan or, you know, I hate to say use a credit card, but but they, they could put 150. They, they try to make men's, uh, ends meet for that, and we really, really focus on on that. Um, and part of that has also helped us to expand our offerings mm -hmm. of training. The merger has been great for that because we we've, uh, we've been able to uh, program a lot of these training programs in the backyards of our citizens. Right. So we're in East Feliciana, where we're working on to start up a, a machinist millwright program. Um, we're in New Roads where we're doing electrical training now and we're renovating the welding lab. Uh, we started in Port Allen where uh, uh, we expanded and work on the heavy equipment training program. Mm -hmm. We're doing pipe fitting out there. Uh, we're working leverage. I had a great welding shop out there where we're expanding the welding booths and adding awesome. more welding capacity out there, doing day and night training and weekend training. And uh, we're also bringing our non-destructive testing uh, training program out there, a very high-end training program in our portfolio where you know these guys and gals pretty much work with subcontractors um, to keep the plants from blowing up mm -hmm. they're doing you know special different type of testing mat particle uh, dye penetrant ultrasonic testing and uh, so we're offering that training there at Port Allen we're already out at the um, west side mm -hmm. down there in Plaquemine and we have a great partnership with uh, uh, with Dow and, uh, and the companies down there and where we are uh, doing the instrumentation electrical um, Millwright, and um, and also have a great partnership with Plaquemine High. We're leveraging their welding space and welding booths, so that, and we're doing welding training on the weekends. And the so high school students are also getting that training as the well. The high school students are getting that training too. So we, we really That's outstanding. Um, in the day, the CE unit has been trying to be very aggressive to meet the demand. You hear about 86,000 mm -hmm. worker shortage across this region. Baton Rouge is about 30,000. 30,000 shortage mm -hmm. projected next five years so we're really doing all all we can to make to connect our citizens to those training opportunities to help grow the businesses and also grow our communities at home so uh, that's outstanding you're doing an amazing job for the the people in this community mr gerard thank you so so much for thank being you. on the show definitely want you to come back because you've got so many programs we want to really elaborate on the different ones and maybe focus on one individual on a show we and do. talk we about a, those sh the, in, in, in individual shows thank you we do have a great i have a great team you know this is uh, not absolutely. a one-man show oh, we have, yeah. I have a dynamic team that helps uh, helps me helps the, the unit have a great chancellor uh, uh dr Audrey Miller, our Vice Chancellor is great, uh, Phyllis Mouton. So we have a, it's a team effort to make this possible for our communities. Thank you so much for all you do. You're welcome. And we'll see you again. Well, that wraps it up for this uh, edition of BRCC Today. Look, if you want training, go to the, the website. It was on the screen, uh, www.mybrcc.edu. We've got something for you. So we'll see you again next time.